Hey guys, Fire Guy here. And today, guys, we're at another location, another store. And today, we are working on an XLT uh, pizza oven. Now, there are various different versions of this oven. Um, so this one may not be what you guys have. I believe this is a version E uh, unit. I could be wrong, but what I got to do is, is I got to upgrade the burners. So we're going to take the old burner box out, put the new burner box in. Um, and it's got this new UV uh, sensor in there, which we got to wire up and everything. It's actually not that hard, so I just want to show you guys what you got to do to do this. So that way, if anybody has any questions, you'll know how to do it, at least on one of these ovens. Alright, so this is the XLT oven. Alright, I've already done the top one, so we're going to do the bottom one. What we're going to do is we're going to change out the burner box back here. So you see the gas valve here and everything else. Um, the switch is located on the hood that we turn on and off. Just turn it off will kill the power. But I also just pull this out a little bit here just to be safe and then turn the gas off if it's a gas operated unit. We're good to go. So the first things you're going to do is disconnect these wires here. So that's 25 goes on the right and 27 goes on the left. Disconnect the ignition, uh, the igniter off the ignition control module. And actually, what you got to do is there's a wire that goes to S1. It's this real thin blue wire. Not thin, but it's this blue. It's like I can get you to see it. It's on S1. It's, it's right here. It's labeled 127. That wire there, you got to disconnect from there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick and I'll show you the next step. All right, so I had to cut the zip ties off. Um, disconnected that one wire, and now I gotta take off the ground wire here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Just a side note, if you have an XLT oven without an XLT hood, you gotta use this switch here. Um, this one's been disconnected because the XLT hood works in conjunction with this. So, anyway, I got that off. Next, I gotta take the gas valve off here. So I gotta take these two Allen uh, screws right here off the back mount. Okay. So that's just a 316 Allen wrench. Um, just break those free to get it loosened up. So I might need to get Okay, so I got those screws off there. Next is you can either do one of two things. If you have the arm strength, you can take this whole assembly and then just turn it up. Um, or you go ahead and there's four number two Phillips screws here, you can undo those and that will disconnect this from here and then you can take the whole uh, gas assembly off, gas valve assembly off. Okay, so I took the top panel off here to make it a little easier on myself. Um, it's just, just a couple screws on the side here and some screws on this side here, the inside. Loosen this up so this will move up and down. Um, and then I ended the screws and the thing came out. So now I can go ahead and take that box off. Um, there's two screws in the very back. Let's get undo and then the unit will just slide out. All right, so the old box is out. The new one's here. Just gotta slide it in there. It might be kind of tough to get it in. You may have to kind of like take the box here and squeeze it a little bit to make it fit, but we'll just slide it in. You'll get these holes lined up with the screws, put the screws in, um, and then we'll attach the gas valve back up. I'll show you how to do all that stuff in a second. All right, guys, so I lied. We gotta put this sensor on first. Um, you're gonna notice the sensor has a little notch right there. That's, that's the notch, and it sits only one way on top of this right here. You can kind of see notch goes. So we just gotta slide that in next. Alright, so the UV uh, sensor is in place. Now we do is just reattach the gas valve, just going in reverse order. So put those four screws on, put those two uh, Allen bolts in, and then I'll show you how to wire this thing up. Okay, so I got the two screws down here on the bottom installed. Just a little trick though, guys. Do not tighten these ones up completely. Just kind of get them started, so that way this will have room to move. Um, once you get that secured, then you can go ahead and tighten these four uh, screws up. Now to wire it up. So remember these wires guys? So 25 went on the left side, 27 went on the right side. All right. 
ignition wire here goes right here, okay? What we need to do is we need to get these wires installed. This one, S goes to S1. Good luck getting it in there. It's kind of a tight fit. You may have to take this uh, ignition control module off to get it to fit. Okay, so I, I got the thing up. I had to take this off to put it on, but it's just, just two screws. There's a screw here and a screw uh, with this stuff out of the way. Right there, it just comes off. So, hooked it up to S1. Next is for these the black and red wires here. And you can see it's got these little terminal connections here. They go here. All right, so right here and right here. So you pull these off, all right? You'll pull these two off here, and this is gonna be your red wire, it goes right here, and then you plug that in with the red wire, and this is where your black wire goes, and you plug this in with the black wire. So I'll show you guys in a second. All right, so as you can see, this is how I have it. Um, the red wire here is the positive. It goes on P1 there. It goes on the P1 thing, it goes on the left side. The black wire goes on the right side, and I just, attach the orange wires with them with the red wire and the white wires go with the black wire so all i gotta do is uh turn it on and give it a test and make sure it fires up okay so i went to test and i had a, a, a gas leak i didn't realize on the back side of here the o-ring came out and it was uh not sealed properly so i had to take this whole thing apart again to reseal to seat that o-ring also, I told you guys the wrong placement of these wires. It's 25 on the right and 27 on the left. So 25 on the right, 27 on the left. Okay, I apologize about that. Um, but I went ahead and tested the gas again. I have no leak this time, so now I'm gonna fire it up. When, when firing up, don't forget to push this display back in. All right, you're gonna see some, that flashing. It's looking for the flame. It's going to steady flame. If I can lock the light there, see it's a steady white light, uh, light now. Um, I forgot it had a 30 second purge, so it's lit up now. We just got to make sure it gets to 485 degrees and stays stable, and they cook their product, and then uh, we'll be good to go. All right, all buttoned up. It's the temperature, and it should hold right around there, so we are good to go. All they got to do is cook a product, and we're done. Hey guys, sorry, I forgot to do the exit video for this particular. Uh, the exit scene for this particular video here so with that hopefully you found the uh installation of the new um uh flame uh burner assembly for the xlt oven helpful if you have go ahead and hit that like button also if you've got any uh questions or concerns or any comments leave them down below as well also don't forget to click that subscribe button with that guys th thank you for watching and i'll see you later